Welcome back to Trillium Tarot. This is Stephanie as always and for this video I am going to be flipping through the Karmic Witch Inclusive Tarot. Now just to give you an idea of where you can find this deck, this deck is based on, um, well here, the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. It is important to us to support other local businesses. Your deck is printed in Queensland, Australia. And here is the uh, address if you want to search for this deck, uh, www.karmicwish.com.au. Now, I did get this through Kickstarter, um, and so I am not 100% certain if they have the, the deck in stock on the website or if it's still in process of uh, obtaining the, the stock or the supply to take online orders, but now you know where to find it. And I will try to make a mental note to share that web address at the end of the video as well. Uh, as I'm diving into these uh, cards though, please do give the video a thumbs up. It truly does help the channel and, and I would greatly appreciate it. So we'll go ahead and go through with the uh, Major Arcana here. High Priestess and Empress. These cards are oversized, so they are not the same size as, oh, here, I have my, Centennial Rider Waite cards sitting right here. So you can see that these uh, Point of Witch cards are wider and they are taller. So if you order these cards, just be aware that they are larger than um, some of the, the tarot cards that you may already be familiar with. And I'm moving my camera around. I hope that's, <laughs> that's acceptable for you to see the entire card there. I happen to really like this uh, chariot card. It really is an inclusive deck, which I, I greatly appreciate. Justice, Hanged Man, Death Card, which I know a lot of people like to see, along with Devil. Um, these Major Arcana cards do not have the numbers associated with them, which is fine. I mean, you're interpreting the card itself, not the number, or not necessarily the number that's associated with the card. There we have the World Card. So let's move this out of the way. I don't want to have cards sliding all over the place when the pile gets too high. So I like the fact that these are illustrated cards, uh, the minor arcana. They're not pip cards. Sometimes people prefer pip cards. And if that's the way it works for you, great. Have at it. I personally like to have at least some form of illustration um, on the minor arcana. It just helps me with my um, interpretation and remembering the original intention of the card, although it is always open to programming and changing and so on. King of Swords. So now let's look at the Suit of Wands. You can see it already that, you know, the King of Swords has kind of, or the Suit of Swords has kind of a beigeish cream colored background. Suit of Wands is going to have this kind of gold-colored background. Butterscotch may be a better term for it. Four and five. Now, as a reminder, if I'm going too quickly or too slowly through these videos, you can adjust your uh, playback settings on your YouTube, your individual YouTube screen by clicking the gear icon and making or setting the top, the playback speed to be more fast or more slow depending on your preference so we wrapped up with the king of wands and now we are going to look at the suit of cups this has kind of a bluish background uh, kind of a gray blue or a steel blue oh look at the six of cups the nostalgia card the little baby. Uh, let's see. 
eight of cups, nine, page. The knights in this in this deck are interesting to me because I think all of them are some kind of centaur type creature like this one is. Half man, half horse. All right, and the final suit here is the suit of pentacles. And again, the, the image, some of the imagery is different. It's a redesign of uh, what we most of us learned with. But, but it's similar enough that you get the idea of what the, the card is supposed to mean or what it generally means. I shouldn't use the term supposed to mean because it is, the interpretation really is left up to the reader. There's another centaur dude. That's awesome. All right. Queen of Pentacles. And then finally, the King of Pentacles. Uh, that brings me to the end of the video. As I mentioned, though, I want to show you the web address again, uh, karmicwitch.com.au. Uh, I do encourage you to go ahead and check this deck out and possibly make a purchase. Uh, it's one of the newer ones that have come out recently, so uh, help spread the word, please. Uh, and as a reminder, just if you would, please give the video a thumbs up or leave a comment below the video. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to the next video.